So this is just going to be a very brief look at the Windows 8 Consumer Preview. If you haven't seen it yet, this is what you're greeted with when you first start it up, the Metro Start page, which is designed for tablets but is usable on a desktop too, and that's what we're going to be showing it to you on. You've got these tiles, many of which show you information, and to open an app, you just click on one. We'll open up Weather here. Now the first thing you'll notice on a desktop is that scrolling is very weird. You use the mouse wheel, but in this situation, like in the weather app, if you have two different scroll bars, it doesn't know which one you want to use, and it will just scroll them both. Hopefully this is a bug that will be worked out in the consumer preview, but for now you kind of have to click and drag if you have more than one scroll box like we do in this hourly forecast. Other than that, the scrolling is pretty well. It goes pretty smoothly. The scroll bars look very nice. It's just a little awkward on the desktop. To go back to the start page, just move your mouse to the bottom left-hand corner of the screen and click. To get more apps, you can open up the Microsoft Store, which as of now has quite a few apps in it, all of which are free. But one of the things that's really cool about it is that when we do have pay apps later on, you can try an app before you buy. Clicking on the Try app presumably will install some sort of light version of the app. You'll see it show up on your start screen, even get a little notification when it's installed, and you can click on it to open it up. Then if you decide you like it, you can go back to the store and click buy to buy it. To uninstall an app, just right click on it and hit uninstall. It's actually really, really easy to uninstall apps straight from the start menu in this, which is one thing that I really, really like about this new Metro interface. Even on desktop, you don't have to go to add or remove programs and sift around, which is really great. To get to the desktop, you just click on the desktop tile and you're greeted with the familiar Windows desktop, although without a start button. That's right, the new start page is what replaces the start menu in Windows 8. So to access it, again, just move your mouse to that hot corner and click or hit the Windows key. The coolest part of the new desktop is definitely Windows Explorer, which looks the same kind of when you start it up, but you can open up the Microsoft ribbon if you so desire and drag some of these frequently used buttons into the quick toolbar, which is cool. Other than that, it looks pretty much the same. You do have this one folder up button, which is awesome. So great to have that back. You also have an improved file copy dialog, which is very neat. So if we open up this folder of some large files I have, these are ISO files, which by the way, if you go to actions, you can mount or burn right from Windows Explorer, which is another great new feature. We're gonna drag this to the desktop and we're greeted with the new file copy dialog. If you hit details, you can see details on speed and things like that. And if we start copying a second file, we can see them both together and even pause one of them so that the other goes faster. The other cool thing about the traditional Windows desktop is the new task manager, which is much easier to use. You open it up with control shift escape as usual. By default, you'll be greeted with this minimalist view, which you can just click on an app and end task. But if you hit more details, you can see more details about what kind of CPU memory or network activity each app is taking up. You'll see that these Metro apps are not taking anything up because when you leave them, they're paused and they're only taking up RAM. But you can end the task if you so desire. You can also get a broader overview of the performance on your machine under the performance tab with all these graphs that look much better than they did in Windows 7, along with tons of easy to read details. You can see your app history, which shows you how much network activity or um, CPU each of your apps uses, which is great for tablets if you're worried about battery life or going over your data plan. You also have the startup tab, which is great because you don't need MS config anymore to configure which apps start when you boot up, so you can disable things like this Java applet, which I've disabled on startup. And you have a few other things like services and other details. So that's just a very brief overview of what you'll find in the Windows 8 Consumer Preview. You can download it now and either upgrade it from your current Windows installation or install it separately. I highly recommend going and checking it out. It's 
pretty cool. Even if you're using it on a desktop, there are some cool things to be found here. So go check it out.